Hey what's up everyone, this is the interesting javascript library of the week series. I am Nitij and in this 10th episode, I will show you a JS library which can be used to create different kinds of charts and flowcharts in a very easy way inside an HTML page using javascript. That library is mermaid.js. Sometimes we have to create charts which are not very common and even if they are supported by a library. Their installation and usage is tedious and cumbersome. Mermaid can be used to create a flowchart, sequence diagram, Gantt chart, class diagram, and many more. When it comes to Mermaid, the charts which it supports are very easy to create. In fact, only a very basic programming knowledge is required to use Mermaid in its simplest form. These charts can be created using lines of text inspired from Markdown syntax that programmers and non-programmers can understand pretty easily. So without further delay, let's now see how we can get a mermaid.js script reference in a web page and then use it. So this is Visual Studio Code and mermaid script reference can be fetched by using a simple script tag by providing its CDN URL as a source for this script tag. Next we just need to initialize the mermaid code and set the property start on load to true so that any chart definition that we will write will be immediately passed and rendered by mermaid when the page loads. So to do that we just need to write mermaid.initialize and then within this function we will have to provide an object as an argument which is going to have a property which is going to be called as start on load with the value true so that mermaid will parse any kind of chart definition that we have provided within this html page when the page loads finally we need to provide the information about the chart that we want to create this can be done by simply creating a div and setting its class value as mermaid inside the div we just need to write the chart details if everything is in order then when the page will load mermaid will render the chart within a svg element so first i'm going to create a pie chart and this can be done by first creating a div element and then adding a class attribute with the value mermaid next we have to write pie within this div which will indicate that this is going to be a pie chart and after that we are going to write title keyword after which we can write the title of this chart and let's just call it test chart in the subsequent lines we can provide the information about the segments or sections of this pie chart so let's just create a part one with the percentage 55 and let's also create part two with the percentage 45 and that is really all that we need to do to create a simple pie chart using mermaid now to run this web page in the browser I am going to use the live server extension which creates a local server and it will host our web page as an application. You have to simply right click and then click on this menu item open with live server and there you go. Here is our pie chart which we just created using mermaid with part 1 as 55% and part 2 with 45%. Now in chrome if you will right click on this pie chart and click on inspect then you will be able to see that this chart has been created as a svg element similarly we can also create a class diagram using mermaid and for that i'm going to create another div element and let's set the class attribute value again as mermaid now to create a class diagram first we need to write class diagram for mermaid to know that this is a class diagram next we need to provide the information about the classes which we want to include in this class diagram so first we need to write class and then name of the class let's just call this class as person we can then define the names of properties and methods which are within this person class so for that first let's just write the name of the person class and for property first we need to write the type of the property and then the name let's just call it as first name we can add another property and let's just call it as last name we can also provide the information of a method or a function by providing the name of the function. So let's just call it as get full name. 
Now in this class diagram, we can also show that one class is inheriting from another class. In other words, we can show the relationship of a parent and child class in this class diagram. For this purpose, let's create another class and let's just name it as employee. Now to show that employee is a child class and the person is a parent class, first we need to write the name of the parent class which is person and then we need to write this operator with less than symbol and then a pipe symbol and then two hyphens and then we need to write the name of the child class which is employee. Now similar to the person class we can provide the information about the public properties and methods of the employee class too. So for that first we need to write the name of the employee class so employee and then we need to provide the again the type information about the property so let's just write integer and then we need to provide the name of the property which is employee code which is an integer now similar to this we can provide the name of the function the public method so let's just do that this can be called as get employee code and i think that's pretty much it to create a class diagram using mermaid now all we need to do is to save the code and when we will do that then the live server extension is going to automatically refresh the page which is opened in the browser so here is our class diagram let me just zoom it now as you can see this is the person class with two properties first name and last name and a method get full name and this is the employee class which is being shown as it is inheriting the um, you know public and protected information from the parent person class and these are the properties and methods of the employee class so this is how we can easily create a class diagram using mermaid there is also a live editor which is available within the mermaid github pages you can use the live editor to test how the chart definition will be when it is rendered when you are satisfied then simply copy the definition and paste it into your code as you can see on the left, you can load sample diagrams to know how to get started and start to modify the sample code for your needs. For instance, I can modify this flowchart and we can see the result refreshed on the right side in the preview pane. Mermaid's GitHub page contains more information about its usage and other stuff like its source code and community support. Be sure to visit and place a star on the Mermaid repository to show your support if you find it useful. And that would be everything that this episode has to offer. Do let me know what you think about it in the comments area. If you like this video, then place a thumbs up on it. And if for some reason you don't, then you can tell me what you think needs to be done for further improvements. Also, please subscribe to the Codefirst channel if you have not done that already to stay updated with the latest videos. I am Nitej and I will see you in the next video. Till then, take care of yourselves and have a great time.